Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Area 51, take one. Now, technically, it's Area 51 and a half. That's true. My mistake. All right. Hi, it's Richie in the Sonic Dad studio here with Abe. What's happening? We're here to bring you another preview of our next project. And it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome because it's full of energy. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. So project 53 was the Sonic DC motor and that was a really cool project. It was our first expert level and took about four hours to build. And I've been thinking I wanted to do another DC motor project, but do one that wouldn't take quite as much time. So my thought was you buy something like this. Uh, this is an electric toothbrush you can buy at the dollar store. There's a little motor inside. And you can take that guy out. Part of um, what's difficult when you want to make your own motor is finding coil wire, winding the coil, coming up with a commutator, things like that. So I got thinking, why not use parts out of a cheap dollar store item to make your own motor? Why not? Because they are very simple to take apart. There's just two little tabs. You bend those out like this, and voila. There is your armature and uh, it's called uh, the commenter commutator commutator <laughs> commutator this I don't know why I work now. yeah well, we'll there's the thingy next to the isma widget so here you have your armature and your commutator and you don't have to wind your own coil this is a three pole motor and also in in some the, of them uh, are two pole <laughs> you also have other two pole yeah sure are there this one is a three pole, pole. monopole. I don't know. Monopole. So uh, also inside the motor are little brushes. So we want the armature, commutator, and the brushes. And also you can pop this little clip out here and get the magnets out as well. I started messing around with some ideas using all of these parts to build little motors, and I've got several prototypes. Oh. Uh, Kind of ugly, but it got better. Uh, is this the first one? That's the very first one. One of the things I discovered is you could use a, a size zero, zero safety pin. Actually makes a really nice little bearing. Size it right. Pretty easy to size around the shaft. Anyway, so that's what I use for the bearing on each side of the, the shaft. Those are easy to find. And then, uh, just a piece of paint stir stick. So here's the final version. So um, using the magnets, the commutator, obviously the, the uh, armature and the motor shaft, and then we've got our own bearings in there and our own little mounts for the uh, magnets. Now what's cool about this is this is really neat for demonstrating, teaching how motors work or learning how motor works yourself by building this project because you can see all the components, the magnets, the commutator, the brushes, and what's everything's cool, there. What's cool here too is we are we have a lot of people that do their science projects, their Sonic Dad projects. Yeah. And this would be perfect for that. Sure. One other little fact, interesting little factoid, is that the original saw used to remove <laughs> a cast was just like this. Hold uh, still. I don't think so. No cast. Nice guess. No. Maybe so. It could be. You could put a little saw blade here. No, let's, let's just not see do something. that. <laughs> all right. It all right. won't cut my skin. Listen to that. That's my bearing. So uh, I thought it would also be kind of cool to have some kind of rotating disc on the end of the motor so you could see it turning. And inside of a, uh, this is a paper mate pin. You got lots of little parts that actually fit on the motor shaft. I, I build uh, this little piece with a, cut a section of this off and you have a nice little mount 
for a rotating disc. So instructions will come with lots of different designs. It's got some spirals and some checkers and even this one, which I think is kind of cool, looks like a little turbine. So it's a oh, little yeah. fan. Very cool. So this is project number 68 already. Wow, Can't believe that. Uh, it's called the Sonic Micro DC Motor. It's going to be a skill level five and about a one hour build. And uh, like I said, made from paint stir stick and components from a DC motor and some uh, uh, safety pins and a few other things, parts from pins, and, and you also need a battery clip. All easy to get? Yes, they're all easy to get. So hope you enjoy this project. It was a lot of fun to create and put together. Yep. Now, we were reviewing kind of uh, end of year stuff. Yeah. And we uh, we recognized that almost one year ago today, pretty close. Yep. How many YouTube subscribers do we have? Uh, about 50, around 50,000. About 50,000. And yeah. today we have? 188,000. We have a big goal. We want to get to half a million by the end of the year, which actually should be able to do more than that, don't you think? Yeah, that'd be amazing. I think that'd be cool. Your help. So. Yeah. Please, if you, if you like what we're doing here, hit the like button, leave us a comment. We love the comments. We'd love to see what you have to say. Yes, please do. We read them all. So until next time, I'm Richie, this is Abe. Now it's your turn to go make something cool. See you next time, see folks. See you later. So until next time, I'm Richie with Sonic Dad. I'm Abe. Now it's your turn to go make something cool. <laughs> do that Let's one more time. Tired. So until next time, I'm Richie with Sonic Dad. And I'm Abe. <laughs> Is it that funny? I don't know. That's not a good okay. transition. <laughs> so, so until next time, I'm Richie with Sonic Dad. And I'm Abe. Hey, if you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or click here to go to our website. Thank you.